Hi, I am Dr. Hari Priya Vedantam, Consultant Obstetrician Gynecologist at Yashoda Hospital, Soma Jibra. This video is about cervical cancer. What causes cervical cancer? What are the symptoms? And its prevention. Cervical cancer is a leading cause of death among women worldwide. What causes it? Now, human papilloma virus is accountable for over 95% cases of cervical cancer. HPV infection is the most common sexually acquired infection among men and women. However, even in spite of more than 100 different strains of HPV being present, it is about 14 to 15 which are actually cancer causing or oncogenic strains. Acquiring HPV infection does not always lead to cervical cancer. The body's immune system is capable of clearing this infection from the body and it is present as persistent infection in about 10 to 15 percent of women. So who are these women who are at risk of having persistent HPV? Women who have multiple partners, early sexual debut, presence of other STDs or sexually transmitted infections in the genital tract, these women are likely to acquire HPV. Who are the women who, whose immune system is weak? They are likely to have persistent HPV. These are women with diabetes or compromised immune system, that is those with diabetes, HIV, smokers, are likely to have persistent HPV infection. Now, what are the symptoms? Now, most of the time, it can be asymptomatic, especially in the early stages of the disease. The common symptom women present with is abnormal or unusual vaginal bleeding that is bleeding or women can also present with bleeding after attaining menopause vaginal discharge which can be excessive sometimes it can be blood stained now other symptoms like persistent back pain pelvic pain leg pains swelling in the legs weight loss loss of appetite symptoms related to uh, urination defecation these may be symptoms of advanced disease can be prevented? Yes. Primary prevention is through vaccination. By vaccination, we are preventing women from acquiring HPV infection. It is recommended to vaccinate young girls and women beginning as early as 9 years up to 45 years of age. The ideal age is to vaccinate young girls before they start sexual activity, that is 9 to 15 years. Now, secondary prevention is through screening at periodic intervals and treating early cervical disease. So, this is done through pap smears and HPV DNA detection. So, through vaccination, screening at regular intervals, periodic intervals and treating cervical disease, we can prevent this disease and save many lives. Thank you. Like, comment and subscribe for more health updates.